<laughs> okay, I'm rolling. Okay. All right. Okay, so Stephen and Joy, let's talk about creativity and what you're doing with three irons. Where would you like us to start, Mary? At the very beginning. <laughs> it all started in a small town in Georgia. <laughs> it actually started about a year and a half ago when we became what we called creative accountability partners. And um, it has just snowballed into something more official over the course of time to what is now Three Irons, which is what we, we call it a two-person creativity support group. <laughs> okay, so that sounds all great, but what exactly do you do? Well, like, support like she was saying, the, the creativity support really came down to this idea that we were constantly having these crazy ideas pop in our head, but never the energy or the time to do it because life gets in the way. You have to take the kid to school and take the dog out to go to the bathroom. And, but that's not living. Life is about this creativity, and we both knew that. And we thought, well, if we hold each other accountable to some level of creative production, uh -huh. then maybe uh, we'll be able to accomplish more and, and life will be richer and, and more fun. And it's a lot of fun. So as Three Irons, we create, discover, and promote art and culture in Salt Lake City. So that can be taken very broadly, art and culture. So basically kind of whatever interests us, we uh, want to get involved in and it usually fits under that umbrella of art and culture. Okay, <laughs> and you've got this project now where you're doing something every week. Right. You give yourself a deadline. Yeah. So you took That's that a little, lot. <laughs> Every week. We took that idea of a little bit of accountability and we thought, what if we took a year and just made this a priority, made it a serious priority in our lives, uh, as important as work or family or taking the dog out to go to the bathroom. It's just, <laughs> it is a priority because that's really what it comes down to. I think creative work becomes difficult because it's always a back burner item. Yes, it's always that yes. thing that we'll get to when we have some free mm -hmm. time. So the, well, our project is called 50 Irons, and so we have three irons is irons in the fire. We've always got right. something going, right? So 50 irons is, uh, is an iron itself that consists of 50 irons. And so over the course of 365 days, we're going to do 50 creative projects. And um, that, that averages out to about one a week, but some of them are shorter and some of them are longer. So for example, some might take months to complete, and others we can get done within a week. So you're a firm believer then Deadlines are a must. Uh, yeah, can't get things done without a deadline. <laughs> and, there's, and there's a certain rush to that. There's a certain sense of, well, we just have to finish this within a week. So mm -hmm. our, one of our very first irons was designing an office space. And we had to dis make decisions to cut corners, to do things, to get it done. It could have been a months long project, mm -hmm. but we got it done in a week because of that sense of urgency. And that also creates mm -hmm. some spontaneity and creativity that we really enjoy. Sure, and have you stayed pretty firm with your deadlines? Have you met them? Yeah, well, we're starting week six right now, and we um, are we are finishing up uh, Iron Six today <laughs> All <laughs> with <right>. you. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. bravo to you both. Because thank you. creativity is a commitment. Yes. So indeed. thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me. Listen to see what this sounds like with the two of you. Oh, yeah. Do you want to talk? Okay, so here I am talking, facing in this direction, and the mic is facing my direction. What, well, do, you, what do you sound like, Stephen? I might answer a question like this, and I wonder if it's picking up the sound or not. Yeah, it is. It's good. It is. I think it's awesome. good.